high noon on April 29, 2011, in a Friday edition of the Daily Journalism on the Streets. Mike Fry here with Demetrius Clients. I said, Demetrius, what are you wearing those sunglasses for? Are, are you blurry eyed from getting up so early to watch the royal wedding? <laughs> well, that, yes, yes, and yes. But uh, don't be alarmed, folks. There's a big yellow disc out in the sky, and, and, and it's the sun. We haven't seen that in a while. Haven't seen it in a while, and there it is. Of course, some people didn't see it when they got up 3, 4 in the morning to watch uh, Princess William and is that Kate how early it get was? married. Catherine. Yeah. Catherine, Catherine, yeah. Catherine, yeah, I bet you were among them, weren't you? Well, I, I, no, I woke up to the news on the radio. Uh, I kind of forgot that they were getting married, and then, of course, on the TV, it was just all over the place. You couldn't avoid it. To be honest, I care more about the average daily humidity in Fort Worth, Texas than I do about that wedding, but millions of other people apparently care, and you can see on page A1 today and more in the weekend edition. So how long do you think they'll last? I'm not going to speculate. We can't talk either. about that, huh? Well, good luck. Yes. Weather. Sun. It's out. really nice out there. Let's go in the weather and find out more. All right. Hi, this is Dennis Yonke here in the weather office at the Journal. hope you're staying dry. Today's high is going to be 66, a low of 45. Got a sunny day today and a pretty sunny day tomorrow, and the high is going to get up to 74, a low of 40. Sunday, well, we might get some rain coming back again, the high of only 61, low of 38. Um, next week, you'll see uh, three or four sunny days in a row, but by Thursday or Friday, I think these showers could be back again. Yeah. I hope uh, generally people are keeping their feet dry out there, but uh, we don't have time to worry about that. Let's get back to the news. Dimitri, we are back, and the weekend is coming. That means the weekend edition of the Daily Journal and the uh, Journal's Rural Life series will continue. That's uh, stories about small towns all around here. Union Hill will be featured this week. Uh, west of Kankakee here uh, in uh, Kankakee County, a very interesting town. Dennis Yonke told me you can get some good breakfast out there. Yeah, I'm sure there's probably only one place you can get good breakfast. I think there's only one diner. There used to be two restaurants. I think there's only one now. How many people live in Union Hill? Enough to serve one restaurant. That's 30, for sure. Thirty-five, maybe. I don't know. That's interesting. Let's let's uh, look forward to that. And what else? Demetri, you wrote about it today, but you news and nooners can go tomorrow. The farmers market returns will be here in downtown Kentucky beginning tomorrow morning. You can get some of those brown eggs, Demetri. You can get brown eggs. I think you can get green eggs. You can get some sausages. It's, it's exciting. It's a six-month event. It runs through October 29th. I think that's six months. Great weather, just in time for for a great. Uh, the 13th Annual Farmer's Market is just a great tradition that we're uh, forming here in Kankakee. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. Can you get green eggs and ham? Sam, I am. Bring your ham, okay. I suppose. All right, okay. sounds good. All right, well, that'll do it for the news at noon today. And for the week, it'll return Monday. You can subscribe to the Daily Journal by calling 815-937-3322. You can also pick it up on the newsstands. And so until uh, Monday. Dig out the sunglasses, folks. Get out there. I think I borrowed that from uh, NBC. Oh. The whole yellow.